David is going to show you how to make one of his specialties. I don't know if you've heard me say on videos before, when we go to a seafood restaurant, because David loves seafood, that David's shrimp are better than any I've eaten anywhere. So I've convinced him tonight to show you how to make your shrimp. Well, first thing is I'm going to show you my ingredients I use. Of course, you need shrimp. Tonight we're using the large size shrimp. We've got two bags of these, so it'll be two pounds total. And what I use, I'll get the natural light beer, I'll get a six pack of that, I'll pour it in here. I'll bring that, I'll pour some vinegar and the Old Bay seasoning. And what I'll do, I'll put all this in the pot, I'll stir it up, bring it to a boil. Once it gets to boiling, then I will dump the shrimp into the pot and I will cook them approximately maybe three to four minutes until they start turning a pinkish color. And then I'll take out one or two, just look at them, and when they look like they're done, I'll take them off. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna get everything mixed together and I'll show you what it looks like. Dave, do you remember one Christmas when we were making these shrimp? Because you, a lot of times you make them at Christmas time because it's everybody's favorite. Right. Do you remember um, our niece and our nephew finding the beer cans in the trash can? Yeah, I do remember. We was at your mama's house for Christmas Eve, I mean Christmas night. And um, she always fixes something up. So what we did that night, I was going to cook the shrimp. So I had dumped the beers and put them in there to bring them to a bowl, throw them in the trash can. Like you said, they discovered the cans in the trash. And, the, and where did we tell, her, tell the kids they came from? We told them that Granny Bell had been hitting the beer. <laughs> and they couldn't get over it. They could not get over it. We did tell them the truth later on, but it was the funniest thing telling them that. Because um, in our family, we don't drink alcohol. So the fact that they thought Granny was drinking beer was really funny. And then I'll probably have to add a little bit of water to it to, just to make sure we got enough in here. But the majority of it will be the beer and then the vinegar. So, so far you used two cans. Now I'm gonna add some vinegar. And I really don't measure it out, I just pour it in here. Till I think I got enough. It's about a half a cup maybe? Probably, half a cup, three, quarters, three quarters of a cup. Of a cup. And then I take the, the Old Bay, I will mix in some of that. I just, like, I just sprinkle it around. And you can put as much or as little as you like, and you I know, based on your taste. And then I take my spoon and I kind of stir it around a little bit. Get that all mixed in there good. And then I'm gonna add one more. And I think it's the fact that you cook it in the beer that gives it such a good flavor. And the beer, the alcohol, all that will cook out from the heat. So anybody can eat this. You don't have to worry about getting drunk or anything <laughs> off the trip. A little tipsy <laughs> off the trip. And I am going to pour in one cup of water. Maybe get a little bit more and add to it as well. So that should be about enough. And this is very forgiving. It's not like you're going to mess it up. Um, if you put a little more beer, a little more water, vinegar, whatever, it's it's going to come out good. And I'm going to add just a little bit more Old Bay because we do like the Old oh, Bay. we love the Old Bay on it. So I got that. All right, I just put the uh, pot on the stove top. I turned the burner on, so it's going to take a few minutes for this to come to a boil. But also, I forgot to mention to you a few minutes ago, this pot we're using, it's got the colander built into it. And this works out perfect because when you get done cooking, you can just lift them straight out, drain them, and then you're ready to dump them in a bowl, sprinkle some Old Bay on top, and get to shelling some shrimp. That's right. And then you can cook another batch if you wanted to. Since we're having clam chowder and shrimp, you know we had to have the Cheddar Bay Biscuits. I bought this at Walmart, and we're gonna make these and see if they taste just like the ones at Red Lobster. It's pretty simple to do. First, you take the baking mix. You 
three fourths cup of water, and then a half a cup of cheese. And you can see I have a heaping cup of cheese and you mix it all together. And this is our first time over making these at home. So I'm anxious to, to see how well these taste. I hope it's going to be good because I know how much you love these Cheddar Bay Biscuits from Red Lobster. I do love them at Red Lobster. And I'm hoping that these is going to be just as good. I hope so too, David. All right, after I mixed it, I'm taking probably about three-fourths of a scooper of just a regular ice cream scoop. And if you notice, I am baking these on a Pampered Chef pizza stone. And you can tell by the looks of it that it has been well used. And that is when it bakes so good, people. So if you have one of these, put that in the comments below. And I can testify, this stone has done a whole lot of nice baking. It has. And I've got several stones. And... Um, they do the best job with baking cookies and not burning them. They sure do. And they're excellent when you're cooking these frozen pizzas. Put them on there, and they'll just turn out just wonderful. And our homemade pizzas turn out good. They sure should. do. According to the box, you should get between 8 and 10 biscuits. First time doing it, I got 10 biscuits. We'll see how they turn out as far as the size. Now I need to put them in the oven and bake them for about 15 minutes at 425. And I'm looking forward to trying these biscuits to see how they taste. Cindy, you had mentioned Pampered Chef a few minutes ago. Yes, I do have a lot of their items. Well, anyway, speaking of Pampered Chef, this is another dish. And I tell you what, this dish right here sure can make some delicious peach enchiladas. And this is what they look like. She baked these earlier. We already got a video fixed from last year. I'll probably post that in here, so y'all be sure to check that out. That way y'all can make y'all some of these delicious peach enchiladas. And also to go with our shrimp tonight, like Cindy had mentioned, we love, I love seafood and Carly loves the clam chowder. So one of our viewers by the name of Mark, he suggested for us to try this New England chowder. It's called Boston chowder. And he told me about it and said that you could find it in the supermarket in the frozen food section. So recently while we were in Crozet, Virginia, went by the... Harris Tita, and I was able to find this, so we're going to give this a try tonight, and Mark had watched our main lobster roll video and commented that we need to give this a try, since Carly loves clam chowder, so... He well, wanted to see how she would like it, because he thinks it's delicious. So, when we found it, we bought some of it, we're going to give it a try. We sure do thank you for the recommendation, Mark, and we hope you enjoyed this video. The water's boiling. Should I say the beer boiling? Well, just say this. Pot is boiling <laughs> and it's ready to put the shrimp in. So let's add the shrimp. I'm gonna dump these in. And remember, the shrimp needs to be the kind that you peel. What I'm gonna do now is get my spoon and I'm just gonna stir this around good to make sure they're all down in there nice, not sitting on top of the, the liquid. You wanna make sure they're getting boiled and steamed. Probably about four to five minutes, they'll be ready. So we'll show you what they look like when they get done. Well, the shrimp, they're starting to look like they're getting close to being done. And over here in this pot, this is the clam chowder. This comes in a bag, you just take it out and you boil the water, put the bag in your boiling water and cook it for about 13 to 15 minutes. It can't get no simpler than that. All right, I'm going to mix the little pack of seasoning that comes in the box. It's garlic and herb seasoning. And I will brush this onto the biscuits because we're getting ready to take them out the oven. So give them that garlicky taste like you used to at Red Lobster. And speaking of the biscuits, that's the timer. Let's get them out and see how they look. Just brushing some of this delicious butter goodness on top of it. If they smell like they smell at Red Lobster, don't you think so? 
Really, all I'm smelling is that shrimp. Well, you know what? It may be because I, I'm right here on top of them, and I can definitely smell them. Now, I, I can catch a whiff of them. Now, I can smell that garlic. They all smelling good. I just took the shrimp out of the, the bowl. This is what they look like. Mm, they look good. Now, I'm going to dump them in a bowl, mix it with some Old Bay seasoning, and it'll be time to eat. Right now, I'm just sprinkling the Old Bay on them, and I'm going to stir them up. Get that all mixed in good. But they smell delicious. Oh, they're smelling delicious. Mm. You said Captain George's ain't got nothing on me, didn't you? Absolutely nothing on you. Deck Hand Day. I hadn't made it to the captain status. They just call me Deck Hand Day right now. All right, so for our meal, we have steamed shrimp. Mmm, that looks so good. We have clam chowder, the Cheddar Bay biscuits. Carly, go ahead and try this soup. It may be hot because it just came off the stove. Yeah, thanks for the late warning. <laughs> it, it tastes good. Other than about to burn my mouth, it tastes good. You were you were sneaking a little bit while ago. What did you say as soon as you tried it? This is good. <laughs> That is exactly what you said and how you said it. All right, David. I will say one thing. You can definitely smell it. It's got a good smell to it. And it's thick. Look at here. It's definitely thick. Let's look at all the ingredients. You can see the pieces of clam in it. Now, we showed the container. It come. You ha you find it in the frozen section. We found it in the meat department in the frozen we section. We did. And I will say this. You see this bowl right here? This is one whole cup. And Carly, she's got one whole cup. So we bought two cups total. But that's a lot more than what you would get in a restaurant. Oh, yeah. Because that's a big bowl. This soup is so hot, Davis, he's got to let it cool down. i got to let it cool down. Let's look at the steam coming in. I right. see the steam kind of. Why don't you get one of those biscuits and try it? All right. That's what they look like. They almost look just like the ones you get in real lobster, don't So they? similar. And you can definitely smell the, the cheap chowder and the garlic. They are good. To to buy, to get these out of a box and fix them yourself, if you didn't know any better, you would swear that these came from Red Lobster. And this is the first time fixing me. Yeah, I think I could take these to somebody and they would think they came from Red Lobster. I believe I, they would. I don't think they're quite as um, strong on the garlic flavor. To right. me, what do you think? They're not quite as strong like the ones you get at the restaurant, but they're very good. Oh, I, would, I think they're perfect. I definitely would get them again. And I just want to say you did a good job cooking them, Cindy. Hey, it was the first time I made them, guys, and they turned out this good, so you know you can make them too. I right, caught you eating, David. You, you did. But I just want to show you, this is some real thick clam chowder. You can see the pieces of clam, potato, and it's just very thick, and it tastes delicious. I tried a little bit of it. And you can heat it up in either the microwave or the stove top. We did but one each way. We did. And there's no difference in the taste. But I tell you what, this is delicious. Thank you so much for recommending this to us, Mark. Yes, thank you. This is just delicious. I'm enjoying it. In fact, the clam chowder inspired the rest of the meal. Because yes. when you're going to get the clam chowder, so I've got to fix some of these biscuits because I've seen the box and never fixed them before. Right. And then it went from, oh, while we're doing this, let's let David fix some of his famous shrimp. But I do love clam chowder that you get at Red Lobster. And I tell you what, this is delicious. How would you rate that compared to Red Lobster? Do you think it's better? I say it's better. Mark said it was good. Mark was right. What do you think, Carly? Good. I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. In my travels, I see this clam chowder again. Should I buy more? Yes. He should. Trust me, he should. And it's frozen, so that means he can buy extra and keep it in the freezer. Because I haven't found any stores around here, but we have not searched, but I will be looking. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, Cindy, I noticed you've eaten a, a few shrimp and you've had the biscuit. What do you think about the food so far? David. You outdid yourself. It's been a while since we've had this shrimp, and it is amazing. And I'm so glad you fixed it tonight. A lot of times when we fix the shrimp, we'll do shrimp and steak. 
But since we were doing the uh, clam chowder, we just decided to do that tonight, and it sure is tasty. Mm -mm. And I also want to ask you, what do you think about the biscuits? How do you like them? I think that they're wonderful, and I think they're just as good as real lobsters. All right, David. So, I see the got to the shrimp. The shrimp are good. The soup was delicious. Everything's been great tonight. Kind of reminds me of going to the beach, eating seafood. In my opinion, don't get no bug. Hey, I've told you before, I don't know why you go out and spend money when you can fix shrimp better than anywhere else I've had it. And thank you very much to one of our subscribers, Mark, for requesting this very good clam chowder soup. And you saw, you heard all our opinions. So, I think this is the end of the video now. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss our latest greatest videos. See you next time. Thank you for watching and God bless. Thank <laughs> you.